Hi, my name's Scott Whitley, and I'm here today to talk to you about my new short scale bass, the SWB1 Standard. The SWB1 standard breaks the short scale mould and brings you a truly versatile, modern sounding, professional bass guitar whilst enjoying all the benefits of short scale, which include a faster, easier to play neck, a shorter instrument, which means less stretching, a lighter instrument, which means less strain on the shoulder, and the list goes on. And all this at a price everybody can afford. The bass is available in solid ash or solid mahogany, you can choose an active or a passive version, you can have it fretted or fretless, and there is a left-handed version available. So let's go ahead and see how it sounds. First up, we've got the SWB1 Standard Solid Ash Passive. Just for a minute, I'm gonna take you through some of the, uh, the common features that run throughout the entire range of bases. First of all, we've got this high mass chrome fully adjustable bridge with 18 mil string spacing which is really really comfortable to play it makes for a really fast kind of right hand or left hand if you're left handed we've got two single coil custom jazz style pickups rosewood fingerboard maple neck uh, 24 frets we've got goto style chrome tuners and the scale from the nut to the bridge is 30.75 inches so that's considerably shorter than uh, a regular long scale which is 34 inches so those are the common features that run throughout the entire range um, so let's look at what's particular about this bass this is a solid ash body and we've got three controls we've got um, a three-way pickup selector so that in the up position you've got the neck pickup, pick in the middle both pickups, and down you've got the bridge pickup. Then you've got a volume control and a tone control. So let's have a listen to it. I'm going to start in the neck position, tone up full, volume up full, and let's see how it sounds. Here we go. Very kind of P bassy. So let's hear what it sounds like with the tone rolled all the way off. Here we go. One, two. So there you go, that's the, uh, which is it? It's the, it's the neck pickup, there we go. So, torn back up full, uh, and I'm gonna put the pickup selector in the middle so we've got both pickups, and let's see how that sounds. Here we go. To my ears, this suddenly jumps into a kind of, you know, kind of modern, what I call a modern sound. Kind of scoop, great for slap, things like that. Uh, funk, here we go.
again, I'm going to roll the tone all the way off. Let's give that a go. So that's both pickups. Um, now obviously the tone control, I'm, I'm giving you the kind of two extremes, on full and then completely off, and in between of course. Right up to, you know, you've got all those kind of variations. Um, so let's jump to the bridge pickup. So that's switch down, and there we are, everything up full. Um, let's give it a go. So that's the solid ash passive. And next up we've got the solid ash active. So this time we've got a three-way pickup selector, volume, and instead of just a tone control we've got stacked, bass and treble. And both of these controls have got a centre detent, so a kind of little click in the middle where it stops. And at that point the control isn't either boosting or cutting, okay, it's flat. Uh, and then from that point, the bass one boosts bass, and from that click backwards, it cuts bass. And likewise, the treble boosts treble or cuts treble. Okay? So what we're going to do is set them flat, so they're not doing one thing nor the other. Uh, turn the volume up full and put it onto the, uh, the neck position pickup. And let's have a see how that sounds. explore a little bit of that active circuitry stuff and see what we can do. So I was playing with the pick there, uh, a lot of pick players like to kind of get that scooped sort of sound, so you've got accented bass and treble and, and the mid scooped, and you can kind of do that um, from the bass, so what we'll do is boost the treble quite a bit, boost the bass quite a bit, and then turn the volume down. So what we've kind of done there in doing that is we brought, brought the bass and treble up left the middle where it is and then brought the overall kind of curve back down in level so let's see how that sounds Okay, 
Uh, so you can see how it gets that nice kind of smooth scoop sound from right there on the bass. So with an, um, um, a passive instrument, you'd need to go to your amp and kind of make those changes, okay? Let's uh, try another thing. We're going to boost the bass a little bit and turn the treble all the way off. And that should give us that kind of Motown soul kind of vibe. Here we go. There we go. So let's move on to the middle position. Uh, EQ flat, volume up full. Let's give it a whirl. Here we go. Okay, um, so yeah, really, really nice tone. Let's let's try the rolling the tone, <coughs> or should I say the treble, all the way off, adding a bit of bass. Get that kind of soul vibe going on. Sounds really cool. Uh, get a, a kind of a slightly more middly sound, I'd say, um, in in that middle position. So finally, let's go to the uh, the bridge position. So that's this uh, switch all the way down, soloed bridge pickup, EQ flat in the middle, volume up full. Let's give it a whirl. Tone all the way off, or treble all the way off, bass boosted a little bit. There you go. Um, so that's the active version of the SWV1 standard in solid ash. Okay, so here we have the passive solid mahogany version of the SWV1 standard. Uh, again, you've got the simple three way pickup, volume, and tone controls. Um, what I'm going to do is start with the position, uh, switching the up position, which is solo neck, everything up full. Uh, remember, this is just the eye, so there's no EQ, um, there's there's no amp involved or anything. So, um, so this is exactly what the, the bass sounds like straight from the pickup. So here we go. Wow, two, three.
Okay. So here's with the uh, the tone control rolled all the way off. Okay. So there you go, that's the, uh, that's the neck pickup. What I'm going to do now is put the uh, pickup selector in the middle position, which is both pickups. Uh, I'm going to bring that tone back up full. Now this is going to have a kind of um, slightly scooped, uh, kind of what I, what I call a modern kind of tone. Um, and it sounds like this. And with a pick. Okay, so again, I'm going to roll the tone control off all the way so you can hear the other extreme. So there you go, that's, uh, that's both pickups, okay? So we're going to move to the down position, which is the soloed bridge pickup. Uh, and I'm going to give you that um, with the tone on full. It's not the way I normally use a bridge pickup. I normally roll a little bit of tone off when I do that. But here we go, so you can hear it. It might be a thing. It's a bit over bright uh, on, on a kind of jazz configuration for me. But here we go. with a pick. And again with the tone control rolled all the way off. There you go. Uh, so that's the SWB1 standard in passive. So finally, here we've got the SWB1 standard solid mahogany uh, active. And this gives you a, a little bit more control over the sound. You've got uh, the three-way pickup selector, master volume, and then stacked bass cut and boost and treble cut and boost, both of which have a center detent, a little click that you can feel. Uh, and when it's set at that point, it's neither cutting nor boosting. It's, it's just flat, okay? Um, another little point on these, these preamps. These are my favorite preamps that are fitting in, uh, into all my basses, and I've been doing this for years. Um, and what's really nice about them is they have um, inside, and it's really easy to get to, just take the, uh, the four screws off the back panel, uh, they have two little dip switches which alter the way in which the, uh, the, the treble control works, okay, so you can have it centered on different frequencies, uh, etc. 
Uh, but they come preset um, to the way I think they work well in the SWB1 standard bass. So here we go, let's uh, start in the um, neck position, here we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is boost the treble a little bit and the bass a little bit uh, and just get back up the volume a tad and do a little bit more of that slap stuff. Here we go. Okay, so it just adds that kind of um, that extra layer of punch, um, if you like, and clarity that you can get from a passive instrument if you kind of go back to your amp and do it. But the nice thing with a, the active version is you can do it right here on the bass. Uh, another thing, I'm just going to boost the treble and bass quite a bit. Uh, keep the volume a little backed off because that is going to bring the level up. And we'll see how that works with the pick. Here we go. So what we're kind of getting is, is, is sort of that scoop sound we've got a lot of treble and bass and and we've left the middle where it is so let's give that a go There you go, and I'm just going to roll the uh, treble all the way off now and just boost the bass a tiny bit and that will give us more of that kind of Motown kind of sound. Boost the bass a bit more. So there you go. That's the um, the the I can't, <laughs> I can't remember. It's the <laughs> the neck pickup. What's wrong with me? Uh, so I'm going to go to um, the middle setting now, which is both pickups. I'm going to flatten the EQ off. So center detent. There we go. And let's give that a go. Finger style. Here we go. Boost the treble and bass a little bit and do try a bit of slap stuff. Okay, so I'm going to roll all the treble off. There we go. So that's in the middle. Now you're probably getting the idea already that um, the active version of the bass is, is kind of a little more hi-fi sounding, a little, a little um, smoother almost. Um, so finally we're going to have a listen to the bridge pickup soloed. That's the switch down, like that, okay. Uh, EQ flattened off. Let's see what we've got there.
So what I'm going to do now is roll a little bit of the treble off and I'm going to roll a bit of bass on or up and we'll try that again. Okay, treble all the way off and let's boost the bass a little bit more, okay? So there you go, there's the SWB1 standard in solid mahogany active. So that just about sums up the SWB1 standard short scale bass guitar. Hope you enjoyed listening to it. If you've got any more questions at all um, that I haven't answered in this video, just shoot me an email on scott at shortscalebass.co.uk and if you'd like to buy one for yourself, just hop over to shortscalebass.co.uk and click on shop. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.